Floods in Nigeria have killed hundreds and forced more than a million people to flee their homes. Those who could save themselves from the raging waters took shelter in makeshift camps. Our next report getting you a closer look into these flood shelters. After watching his four young children gobble up a small portion of beans, this Nigerian farmer, Jadon George, will sleep on an empty stomach in the makeshift camp where his family ended up after their home was flooded. George said that the children were so hungry that he did not have the heart to keep anything for himself. There was nothing else to eat that evening in the camp in River State, one of 32 Nigerian states hit by catastrophic floods. It is that little food the children was eating that I was hoping on. So, but now they have rushed it. So now they have rushed it. You see that they, are, they do not able eat like people who are belly food. They eat like people who need more. So like a father I am. So I cannot go and put them there. So I allow them to eat. I will sleep like that, sir. I will sleep like that. For George, the nightmare started at 2 a.m. on October 8th. That is when his wife shook him awake. He saw flood waters rushing into the family home at such speed that there was nothing he could do except pick up the two children. His wife grabbed the other two and they ran for their lives. The flood waters carried snakes and other animals as well as bottles and sticks that injured their legs as they fled. In the nearby village, a farmer named Anthony Nenadi was in his house, wading through water that came up to the top of his thighs. He tried to salvage random items, uncertain about what to do next, but unable to tear himself away. His family had been scattered by the flood with several of his eight children stuck in other parts of the state. They are unable to reunite because the roads have turned into rivers. This water confused us. Me, it confused me. It made me, I, didn't, I, I, I always forget what I'm supposed to do because my heart, is not, my heart is not at peace. My heart is trouble. The camp in the school building in the village of Ogbugu now shelters about 600 displaced Nigerians whose homes are now underwater. They now rely on donations from individuals, oil companies and local authorities for food and basic amenities. But there is not always enough to satisfy everyone. There is limited space in makeshift flood camps and many are forced to sleep outdoors. George says that he is thankful that his wife and children are alive, but he feels hopeless about the future. The flood has laid waste not just in his home, but also as farmland and means of livelihood. I am hopeless because nothing I can count my own. Now, as I'm, as I'm saying, now nothing I can count, this is my own. Because I don't have fun land, even when flood is over, I know that there is no money now I can use now to buy something to eat. So I know that there is war ahead of me. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.